Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's understand the common source amplifier, a very important topic of MOSFET, and also let us derive the expression for gain of that device. Here is the common source amplifier circuit. This common source amplifier consisting of a MOSFET over here, and this MOSFET is biased using a constant current source. Constant current source is connected to the source of the device, and we are going to provide the input from the gate and we are measuring the output from the drain. You can see here V signal is the small signal we are applying. This is the signal to be amplified. It will be having a small resistance internally that is represented with R signal. And we have two coupling capacitors CC1 and CC2. These two coupling capacitors give the coupling to the device and it will block the DC component coming into the device and it will allow only AC components. And we have the resistance at the input side that is RG and also at the output we have RD and we have connected with the load resistor that is RL. This is the common source amplifier circuit. It is called as common source amplifier because source is common between the input side as well as from the output side. We are applying input from gate to source and taking the output from drain to source. So the name says common source amplifier. Now to derive the expression for the gain and also the output voltage we need to measure for the small signal we are applying here for the AC signal. To do the AC analysis we need to consider all the DC components or the DC sources to zero. First we need to consider all the DC supply what we have voltages should be connected to zero and the coupling capacitors to be short circuited and also we need to replace the MOSFET by the small signal model of the MOSFET. So the equivalent circuit will be like this. You can see the shaded area here. This is our MOSFET replaced by GM into VGS. GM is the transconductance and VGS is the dependent parameter. Here the arrow and this symbol indicating the MOSFET is a current source. So it has an internal resistance at the output R0 and at the input side you can see V signal is the small signal connected with R signal and this RG is grounded and also at the output side RD is grounded, RL is also grounded. We have grounded all the DC voltages and now we can see the input we are applying from the gate. So this is the area where we are taking R in and we are measuring the output from the drain this is how we are measuring R out. So now let us get in and get the try to get the expression for R in, R out as well as V naught and also the gain AV. So I took the same equivalent circuit here for analysis. First let us look at the input side. What is the current at the input side? As we know the gate of the device means gate of the MOSFET will not take any current at all. Means the gate current for the MOSFET will be always zero. Here also in the amplifier circuit, IG will be zero. So at the input we can write IG is equal to zero. Now let us see the resistance at the input side. We are applying the input from this terminal. We have RG over here. So the input resistance can be written as it is equal to RG. And then we can write the expression for VI. VI we are applying from the gate of the device it is having RG and at the input we have with the small signal we are applying we have R signal also. So to get the expression over here as VI we need to apply the voltage divider rule for this circuit at this point is considered. Here VI is equal to V signal into R in that is RG divided by R in plus R signal that is the total resistance. Now we can replace this R in by RG directly. Why? Because we know that input resistance is RG. So VI is equal to V signal into RG divided by RG plus R signal. Now this R signal as I said it is very small compared to RG. RG is the bigger resistance. Compared to this RG it is negligible. So we can neglect a neglect that R signal with respect to RG is considered. Now the expression is reduced to if this R signal goes 
RG, RG get cancelled. Now VI will be equal to V signal. That is our input now. And, and we can say, we, here we have VGS component in between gate to source. So if we measure VGS, that will be equal to VI. Now we can say, VGS itself is our input we are taking. Now let us look at the output side. This is our output side of the equivalent circuit. Now if we write the expression for V out by taking this transconductance parameter as MOSFET and V out will be minus GM into VGS. The direction of current in the MOSFET will be from drain to source. So minus GM into VGS and if you look at the resistors over here, these three are in parallel. This R0 also is connected to ground and it is in parallel with RD and it is in parallel with RL. So these three resistance in parallel, R0 parallel with RD parallel with RL we can write. And this is the output expression. Now we can write using this V0 and this VI, we can get the expression for gain. As we know gain is V0 by VI. V0 we have here in this expression and V in will be our VGS. So put V0 as well as VGS. In this expression at the numerator we have VGS and denominator VGS. These two get cancelled. Left with minus GM R0 parallel with capital R0 that is the resistance and parallel with RL. If you write the open circuit gain, open circuit gain will be AV0 is equal to minus GM R0 parallel with R0 neglecting this RL. This is the gain of the device. And if we consider the overall gain of the system, means from the small signal to the load we are applying. Here we need to consider R signal also. We are not supposed to neglect that. In that case, the overall gain will be represented as gain GV is equal to R in divided by R in plus R signal AV. And this will be equal to, we can write AV over here, we know the AV expression, GV is equal to minus RG is my R in divided by, again R in taken as RG plus R signal into GM R0 parallel with RD parallel with RL. This is the overall gain of our system starting from the small signal we are applied to the load of the device. And now we can write the output resistance also. We know we have a resistor at the drain that is RD and also we have an internal resistance of our active device amplifier that is R0. So R out will be equal to R0 parallel with RD. This is how we can derive the expression for gain and also the output resistance and also the input resistance. This is for the common source amplifier. In the same way you can derive the expression for any amplifier by taking input voltage, output voltage and the resistances with respect to the equivalent circuit is considered. Thank you.